In 1986, I was invited to give a special lecture at a university in Accra, Ghana. There I met a number of dignitaries, including an African tribal king. As we visited prior to the lecture, the king spoke to me only through his linguist, who then translated for me. I responded to the linguist, and the linguist translated my responses to the king. After my lecture, the king made his way directly to me, but this time without his linguist. To my surprise, he spoke in perfect English. <laughs> the queen's English, I might add. The king seemed puzzled. Just who are you, he said. I replied, I am an ordained apostle of Jesus Christ. The king asked, What can you teach me about Jesus Christ? Well, I responded with a question. May I ask what you already know about him? The king's response revealed he was a serious student of the Bible and one who loved the Lord. I then asked if he knew about the ministry of Jesus Christ to the people of ancient America. As I expected, he did not. I explained. After the Savior's crucifixion and resurrection, he came to the people of ancient America, where he taught his gospel. He organized his church and asked his disciples to keep a record of his ministry among them. That record, I continued, is what we know as the Book of Mormon. It is another testament of Jesus Christ. It is a companion scripture to the Holy Bible. Well, at this point, the king became very interested. I turned to the mission president accompanying me, and I asked if he had a copy of the Book of Mormon with him. He pulled one from his briefcase. I opened it to 3 Nephi, chapter 11, and together the king and I read the, sa sa the Savior's sermon to the Nephites. I then presented the copy of the Book of Mormon to him. His response lodged in my mind and heart forever. You could have given me diamonds or rubies, but nothing is more precious to me than this additional knowledge about the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, after experiencing the power of the Savior's words in 3 Nephi, the king proclaimed, If I am converted and join the Church, I will bring my whole tribe with me. <laughs> oh, king, I said, it doesn't work that way. Conversion is an individual matter. The Savior ministered to the Nephites one by one, each individual receives a witness and testimony of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Well, my brothers and sisters, how precious is the Book of Mormon to you? If you were offered diamonds or rubies or the Book of Mormon, which would you choose? Honestly, which is of greater worth to you? My dear brothers and sisters, I promise that as you prayerfully study the Book of Mormon every day, you will make better decisions every day. I promise that as you ponder what you study, the windows of heaven will open, and you will receive answers to your own questions and direction for your own life. I promise that as you daily immerse yourself in the Book of Mormon, you can be immunized against the evils of the day, even the gripping plague of pornography and other mind-numbing addictions. <laughs>